What is happening? Big Domino Spook, the Rods returning. Shout out to all my double eyes around the world. Cultivating this sexual energy of ours, making sure we keep an inset power. What you know, good fellas? How you doing, ladies? Let's do the damn thing. Hey, say. So remember, I was going to tell y'all that motherfucking gym story, right? Well, here you go. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to walk y'all through. I'm going to paint the picture for y'all very clear. So the whole gym, right? I left my earphones at the crib. So I'm like, instead of go get them, why don't you just got down, just play the music out loud like you usually do, right? So that's what I did. Now, mind you, whole time I'm minding my business. When I tell y'all I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Like, I'm not looking around to look who, who watch me, anything like that. I'm just doing my thug dism. So, I hit the bag. And I'm hitting the bag, and this one dude stopped me. He, man, you, you, you know, the normal questions I get. What gym you train at? Do you do... Have you ever done Golden Glove? Yada, 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 and stuff. I'm telling him, nah, I just whoop niggas' asses. Just fucking with him, fucking with his head and shit. And then he like, he like, oh, man, you got you got uh, real good skills, like technique and all that. And plus, you got power and all that shit. I'm like, that's cool. And then he like, um, he like, you do some sparring. I'm like, I mean, don't, don't nobody be wanting to spar, man. I was like, we can spar. And he was like, he was like, what? I was like, we can spar. And I'm looking at him in his eyes. He like, all right, for sure, for sure. And I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna take your number down when I'm done with my workout. So I, I, he, he get to hit in the back, he hitting it all hard and shit. I'm shaking my head like that's not enough. I just, I'm fucking with him mentally. I'm fucking with him like that's not enough. So then my bad, hold on, my thing come out. Oh yeah, give me a sec. I'm like, that's not enough. It's not enough power. He going, he, he putting his all into them punches too. I'm like, that's not enough. So then, he get to hit in the bag and stuff. Nigga, I hit that big bob a good hour. Man, I look up, this nigga took off. I'm like, I'm supposed to get this nigga number. Where, that, where, where he go? Nowhere to be found. I'm like, right, fuck it. So now I'm working and I'm doing my thug deal. And I, my playlist consists of a whole bunch of shit. It can go from rap to R&B to whatever. So now it's in the R&B section, right? So I'm playing Snow Allegro Out Loud. I'm playing goddamn Georgia Smith. Um, who else? Just all kind of artists, right? And the women loving it. Like they coming around, they choosing and all that, da da da. But I'm ignoring all of it, all the signs. Going hard. So now I'm on the back machine. I'm on the back row machine where you sit on your buttocks and you pull the weight. So nigga, I go up to 200. 200 pulling that motherfucker. I'm rapping out on that bitch. I'm boy, this strength is crazy. It's it's unbelievable. Whole time. That's what I'm thinking. I'm quiet. I ain't saying nothing, but in my head, I'm like, bro, this is unbelievable. So I go from the back row to machine, back row machine to uh, to the tricep pull downs. I'm doing 60 pounds on the tricep pull downs. I'm talking about I'm locking my I'm locking it. You feel me? And I'm I'm holding this I'm squeezing it so my I'm getting the full range of motion and stuff for results. You feel me? So I'm on the back row machine now. Now I guess this 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 so called tough guy was getting mad because you know all the attraction all the eyes on me and whatnot whole time i'm in my own world i'm, I'm vibing you know i'm you know so this dude decides to go to the tricep pull down knowing i'm on it because i'm not taking like big breaks i'm going from my bad uh i'm going back and forth back and forth from machine to machine and they literally right next to each other so that's why it's literally easy to do this dude grabs it right and he does it aggressively grabs it and puts it on puts it where he was at and, that, and it's right next to me like to the left right basically trying me man tell me why i do my back i do my back uh set right 
and then it was a couple options I could have uh, went with. It, it was A, crash out because that nigga trying you, he violate you, so demonstrate, make an example out of you. That's the first thing that popped into my head. Second thing, nah, he ain't worth it. He don't know what he's doing. Let the man breathe. It's a public, it's a public gym, man. He could do what he want, even though it's disrespectful. I'm like, go ahead. Third thing I thought about doing, man, just go back over there and, and take the shit off. As soon as he done with his set, take that motherfucker off. What the fuck he gonna do? That, that's what I really wanted to do, right? I'm like, you know, I'm just wait. So, man, tell me why I, I um, I, I finished my back, I finished my back workout, and then I just turn and look at him. I'm, I'm watching him work out. I'm trying to see what he finna do. So he doing it like this. He doing it like that, but he not getting full range of motion. I don't know if he was nervous, scared. I don't know. I'm just watching him just like this, but I'm giving him eye contact. I'm waiting on him to give me eye contact back. He not looking at me and shit. He looking down and shit. Huffing and puffing like a hoe and shit. I'm just looking at him like, mm. man, if I'm lying, I'm dying, boy. I'm everything I love. God could make today my last day if I'm lying, bro. So you know I ain't capping. Man, I do another set. When I look back, the man gone. Like gone, like out the gym. Not like in the gym, he went somewhere else. That man left the gym. I watched him leave the gym. Every, actually, everybody watched him leave the gym. Everybody, men, women, workers, all that. <clears throat> so after that, once he left, I went back over there, snatched the motherfucker off, put it back to where it was at, and kept working out. I ain't say a word. I ain't even had to say a word and hold this nigga. Straight up. I ain't gonna lie, Jay. That was low key within itself a alley you. You you literally just drove my pussy rate all the way up if I was on that type of timing. But I'm not. But, y'all, your energy speaks loud, bro. Way loud. Like, like you stand out. Like, everywhere you go, bro. I said all that to say that. Your energy stands out. You know? I left this part out in my story, too, when I was at work. And I was talking to this, to this youngin. He had asked me. He was like, man, niggas ain't never try you, like, you know, try to fight you and shit. I'm like, nah, shit, I don't get tried like that. I was like, but if a nigga wanna try his luck, I said, we can go to that bathroom right there. There ain't no cameras up in there. We can get it on, you know what I'm saying? And we can shake hands afterwards, or not, it really don't matter to me. And then they were gone by that business. Real talk, it's that simple. I was like, cause I ain't the type of nigga that's gonna rat. I ain't finna go rat and tell motherfuckers what happened in the fight, cause that's what that's what's wrong. Niggas will get their ass whooped because niggas be talking shit, and then it ain't the fact that niggas be scared to fight. It's the it's the fact that niggas be scared to fight cause they don't know how to fight. Plus, they be scared of getting embarrassed, cause you know how niggas like to take our phones, record everything. Like this shit is a show. It's not a show, nigga. We just we doing our thugs. We doing our thug dub. That's it. Ain't nothing to broadcast. What we broadcasting? What we talking for? Ain't no talking for it. Ain't no talking about nothing. Win, lose, or draw. It ain't no talking about no fight. Nigga, keep it moving. That's how niggas get murked out this whole Like, you, you don't be talking about shit. Leave that for women, man. Man, we don't talk. We just work. Move around. But yeah, that was my little quick little story, man. I hope y'all enjoy it. I ain't capping at all. I hope you notice. Know Another thing I'm noticing in the gym, bro, my my my, my strength and then conditioning is going is out the goddamn roof. Like, bro, if y'all to see me work out yesterday, like seriously, no cap. Cause usually I just maintain, but this time I said, you know what? Let me see how strong I am for real, bro. When I tell you I was lifting some heavy ass shit. I guarantee you niggas probably thought I was on steroids or some shit. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I guarantee people thought I was on <laughs> creatine, protein, some shit like that. But it's like, you know I ain't on protein. I ain't that damn big. You know what I'm saying? I only weigh 155. I'm a big.
big, I'm a big ass 155, but I only weigh 155. I just weigh myself. And then as far as like, you know, size, I don't look it, but hey, I'm a big old nigga. But I ain't gonna lie, the strength that I'm getting, bro. I know that the motherfuckers on the long street, bro. That, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, bro, niggas that's on long streets is strong as fuck, bro. You shouldn't fuck with nobody on a long center retention street, for real, bro. Especially ones at peace. Them the dangerous ones. Like, I tell you, know, everybody that's be on some serving God and praising God and, you know, bringing peace and love into it, bro, don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. I don't I don't care how they look. I don't care if they look like the skinniest mutt. Do not mess with them. Be cool with him. Respect him. But, yeah, man, if it don't help you grow, let it go. Um, be about your business Stay about your money And stay out the way I love you all Peace